hello everyone today i am going to show how you guys can place automatic dimensions very easily in revit using the room tag command you only have to create the family of room tag once in your life and here you go as soon as you place the room tag command on any square or rectangular room the dimensions of the room will be automatically placed in it but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial open a new family template file of room tag available in this annotations folder then in the create tab click on this label command and click anywhere here and from here from this list you can select any type of command uh, any type of uh, um, basically the information which you want in to be placed in the room so i have placed the name here you can either move it anywhere you wish for and cl then click on this name and open this dialog box of properties and from here you can change its uh, appearance that is its uh, text size text font either it is bold or has an underline or a its color or anything you can change from this dialog box then click ok and again we use the label command and click here and now you can see from this list you uh, this is the type of information built-in information which you can place on the room either its area or volume or perimeter anything but i want to know its width or length so i am going to enter a formula for that now i have seen a formula from this uh, website the link is given below in the description box so this is the formula to obtain the length and width uh, to obtain the width by using the a parameter and area so just simply copy it and then place uh, paste it by using control c and control v in this formula area and use the and change the type to length and then click ok now in the suffix uh, enter x that is basically the multiplication symbol now again enter a new formula for the length which is area divided by width as the area formula is for a rectangle is length into width so to end, to obtain the length enter the formula area divided by width so here you go but i need a space uh, between width and the multiplication sign for that I click select it and then click on edit and then enter space in it then click ok and here you go so our room tag so our room tag family is complete with the automatic dimensioning and you can see how easy it is and you can create it in just two minutes now i'm going to open a project file uh, at which I want to place the dimensions so load this family load the family file into the project and let me show you how you can place the dimensions this is the floor plan on which I want the dimension it has this bedroom the kitchen the washroom and everything so before that uh, load this family file into the project and uh, let me delete this okay then in the architecture tab this is the basically the room tag uh, bar in the architecture tab so click on this room and place it on all of the rooms one by one as you can see in the video so this is basically i am uh, telling david that these are the rooms uh, in the in this plan uh, and using the room separator command i can place the lines and separate this region separate the regions uh, as there are no walls in it so i can you know use the room separator command to create regions within open areas
so here i have assigned the rooms on all of the spaces now i need to place the dimensions and the names uh, within all of these rooms for that select this tag room command and as you can see that our family file is loaded into the project this one and once and when you place the uh, place the command on the rooms the dimensions are automatically placed on them let's measure these values to, uh, to see if the length and width are correct Now assign name to all of these rooms uh, like this one is the bedroom and the store and the washroom so you can change the names from here. so you can see that the shorter dimension is written first but i want to place the linear dimension first so for that create a copy of this room tag family file uh, by save by same by using the save as then select this click on edit and from here just select and move it below and change, place this suffix here of multiplication sign here and click ok so now the dimension has been placed like this now load this family file into the project and now change the rooms where you want to place the linear dimension first uh, so i have changed them and use the other room tag family file there but in the bedroom i have used the uh, uh, the room tag family file which i have created uh, previously so you always have to you always need to create two family files so one with the uh, shorter dimension first and the other one with the longer dimension first so now let's uh, assign name to this living room and if you wish for you can always edit this family of room tag by clicking on it and then click on edit family and from here you can edit the family files as you can see in the video Now in the annotate tab, click on this color fill legend and then place it here at wherever you want and from here the space type is the rooms and the color scheme is the names, basically the names of the uh, rooms and here you go, the automatic color legend is placed here and now you can see that every space has a different color and its legend is placed here now 
select this room legend and click on edit type and from this properties box you can change its time you can change the dimensions of the box you can uh, change the size of the text and everything from this dialog box Now select the legend and click on edit scheme and from this dialog box you can change the color of the legends and you can also if you wish for you can apply the hatch patterns in it. So here I'm going to show you how you can change the colors of the legends. Now if you don't want to place the dimensions in the room and you want to air place just the area so you can you know use the room tag with area and if you don't want to show the room number you can simply uncheck it from its properties dialog box or you can also uh, change the numbering of the rooms from here now let's create a square room Now make it a room and then using the tag room command let's place the dimensions in it. You can see that as soon as you have created the room uh, it is automatically appeared in the room legend. So you can see that automatic, the automatically the dimensions are placed within the squarish room and let's see if these are correct and these are Now let's add the hatch pattern for the bathroom and you can add the hatch from this fill pattern.
so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe